Sorry if the game like runs in uh, slight slow motion, like here it is uh, right now. Uh, shouldn't be a problem because I'll press the dialogue faster. But um, it's it's because of a strange bug in the coding of this game that makes it really difficult to run on PCSX2 if you scale it up. Um, and even with uh, my graphics card, which is very good, it's still like this sometimes. But it it should be rare. Well, well, what a lovely sight this is. You there. What were they escorting anyway? A man-eating tiger? No, ma'am. Alice Elliot, Caucasian female, approximately 20 years old. Yes, that's how I recall her as well. However, I don't see a body here of that description. Am I to assume the girl killed all these men? I, I, I never imagined a human being could kill like this. It's horrible. Major Tsuji, after your exploits in Chengchen, did you ever suspect you'd captured a monster? If soldiers of the Imperial Army can bring in a one little girl, they don't deserve to live. <sighs> I was so looking forward to bringing a worthy souvenir back to Tokyo for father. What a waste. Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima, we have a witness. An elderly peddler says a suspicious-looking man passed her in the aisle. What kind of man? Someone from the anti-Japanese movement, perhaps? No, ma'am. It seems he was a Western gentleman. And there was another man as well. Another one, you say? Yes, ma'am. A wiry youth. He seemed to be following the first man. Apparently, they both headed off the direction of the salon car. Does this mean he had help? A foreign gentleman and a youth. Hmm, a strange combination. What are your orders, ma'am? Take care of the bodies. Have them sent to the capital. I recall the Major saying his six-year-old granddaughter couldn't wait for Grandpa to come home. The girl will surely shed tears of joy when she finds out he's returning earlier than expected. Yes, ma'am. Place troops in Fengtian and surrounding cities. We must use this chance to crush all the vile little termites that have infested our utopia. Yes, ma'am. This is getting interesting. Just as I suspected, it seems the girl possesses incredible powers. Now I see why that wise and old demon in Shanghai was so hellbent. <laughs> Beware, old man. As the hawk in flight snatches its prey away from the wolf on the ground, I mean to have that girl. My, my, this is quite an anomaly. Perhaps I'm getting rusty. Have I somehow summoned you here by mistake? It's been 15 years, Roger Bacon. <laughs> it has been some time, hasn't it? I'm pleased to see you looking so well, oh great magician. Master Dehuai, fallen ruler of the Nine Heavens Earth Sage. I see you are still wearing that pasted-on smile. You have too much time on your hands, you infectious plague. What brings you to Shanghai? Surely not simply to pay me a visit. <laughs> no, say nothing. I already know. Indeed, I found myself at a loss in this strange land, and I'm afraid I've made a slight blunder. An unforeseen meddler has entered the game, and my little bird is still outside her cage. <laughs> How unlike you to make excuses. You need not apologize for going behind my back and abducting the girl. Indeed, I suspected you would. Come now, there's no need to be so severe. I was merely indulging myself in a small divertissement. What with your grand ceremony drawing near, you needn't deal with minor trifles. I thought I'd lend a hand. Ha! You jest. Are you telling me you would have delivered me the girl upon her capture? Why, of course. The progress of your secret ceremony is of great interest to me, Master Dehuai. 
If this girl called Alice truly is the key to the ritual, I will do everything within my power to help. A sly old fox you are. The Divine Scepterogram. So in fact, preparations for your Demon's Gate invocation are almost complete. I've taken the liberty of sealing up the Protector of the North, the Black Tortoise of Xiaoyang Village. It would have stood in the way of the rituals, but that no longer matters. The spirit machine of Kui Hai Tower is finally operational. I can now focus entirely on finding the girl. Well, well, I look forward to seeing the great sage himself in action. So then, have you discovered the girl's whereabouts? Of course, I have eyes everywhere on the continent. <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you. She's in Fengtian. Fengtian? Hasn't the Japanese army set up operations there? Hmm. I can't imagine how they caught wind of it, but it seems they lie in wait for the girl as well. <laughs> we have nothing to fear from them. The Japanese army is in disarray and staffed with morons. The present little threat save they present little threat save for a bothersome fly named Kawashima that's been snooping about. The girl is already mine. <laughs> Splendid. I'll be off to Fengtian, then. Please, don't concern yourself with me. I haven't any intention of getting in your way, good sage. I'd simply like to observe your techniques from afar, for future reference, you see. Very well. <laughs> Do as you please. Ah, oh, yes, I nearly forgot. There's a rather odd fellow accompanying the girl. Even stranger, he's a harmonixer, a master of fusion. What? Fusion? Are you absolutely certain? I'm afraid so. You yourself have substantial blood connection to the harmonixer line, do you not? I'd rather not see a repeat of the events of 15 years ago. Please be wary. You wouldn't want to lose the half of your body that remains. Ah, that was uncalled for. Forgive me. <laughs> the tricky old bastard. He spies on me with impunity. Listen well, minions in Fengtian. That fraud of a warlock is headed for your city. Do not be outwitted. I shall be most disappointed should you fail to capture a single heretic girl. I shan't allow anyone to stand in the way of the Demon's Gate invocation. Our success or failure depends entirely on that girl, Alice Elliot. Ugh, morning already? At least we got a little rest. Even after all that crap that went down, she walked all night. Pretty impressive. For a girl, I mean. I think I'll let her sleep a little longer. Hmm, you're pretty cute, I guess, you dumb mutt. What is it, you mutt? Wait, why the voice? The Japanese soldiers seem pretty tense this morning. I hear that some awful criminals have escaped and are hiding out here in Fengtian. God have mercy. No, don't hit me, sir, please. Oh, I guess you're not Japanese, are you? I've never seen eyes that color before. I guess his eyes are hazel. He's half Japanese, half Russian. I am the silent peddler. Perhaps because I seldom speak, I don't sell much. So I thought of a new service to draw customers. I call it pedometer service. First of all, let me give you this. Wear that when you walk through danger. It'll count your steps. Get enough and win a cool prize. No? Uh, I don't want it? Uh, no, no, I'll have it if I can. Are you selling it? 
I'm sorry, but I don't have any merchandise for sale at the moment. You get Margaret's ultimate armor when you accumulate enough of these. Can't do without one. I don't use Margaret until the end, so it's not really necessary for me, but... I haven't seen you around here before. Did you come to Fengtian looking for work? Me too. This is becoming an amazing city. Architects and engineers from the world over are on a building spree. There are lots of Japanese folk in town now, ever since they beat the Russians. The soldiers are scary, though. Who do they think we are, anyway? Did you see that hotel? It has 800 rooms, 20 dining rooms, and 1,500 bellboys. Just a day's stay there costs, goodness, a month's salary for me. Hmm? You, that... Hey, buddy. How about it? Wanna stop in and play? Play? Play what? You don't know? It's your first time, eh? Then let me explain. The ticket you have there, it's a lottery ticket. When you hold a lottery ticket, we members of the World Lottery Association let you play for lots of fabulous prizes. But we never tell anyone about the lottery unless they have a ticket. Basically, the lottery is secret. Don't worry, it's not shady. The chairman is just funny that way. World Lottery Association. The way the chairman likes it, it all sounds pretty fishy to me. Don't ask me any more than I've already told you. If I tell you anything more about the chairman, it could mean my life. Just kidding. But seriously, it could strain our beautiful friendship. Ha <laughs> They say the proof is in the pudding. Try it once and you'll see what it's all about. What do you say? Want to play? All right, here we go then. Take a look at this. See how the prize list and ring both have colors. When the indicator steps on a color that ma stops on a color that matches a prize, you get that prize. The indicator will go around as many times as you want, so take your time. All right, here goes. Most of these I'm gonna save state for because I'm a big, huge cheater. All right, here's your prize. Oh, uh, just one word of caution. Association members all have different prizes. And there aren't all that many lottery tickets out there either. I urge you to choose carefully which lottery you'll play. Well then, good luck. You have to find every single lottery member if you want to do the last lottery, which is what you get the thing. The underpants. Yeah, you get the underpants if you get the thing. Uh, uh... Where am I? Oh, you're up? You okay? You were sweating like crazy. Have a nightmare or something? It was terrible. I was in a dark room, maybe a hospital, and there was a woman all alone crying. She she was staring at me, and then that man and the one from the train, Bacon, appeared. What happened to the woman? I don't know. It got dark all of a sudden. I couldn't see. <laughs> don't let it get to you. It's just a dream, right? And the old guy, what's his name? Bacon, right? If he shows up again, well, I'll make him wish he didn't. <laughs> hey, Laria, the width of a hit area increases 20%. I don't need that. I'm probably just gonna sell it. Unbelievable. Damn soldiers hanging about scaring off all my customers. Oh, hey, you there. We got lots of good stuff. Come on, take a look. I've placed the bomb in the South Manchurian Railway Depot, as scheduled. 
we blow up those cars and the Japanese army will be stuck here for at least two months. <laughs> I can see the look on that idiot Kawashima's face now. Not that I know what she looks like. Malkovich, why is a pro like you always letting your personal feelings get involved? Our objective is to track the movements of the Japanese army, not cause unwanted trouble. Speaking of unwanted trouble, you didn't set any unnecessary bombs this time, right? Don't worry. Only one. Malkovich? What else can I do? There are plenty of innocent people working in that depot too, you know? And, and they all have these cute little lunch boxes. Anyway, all I did was set a little one outside. See, it'll go pop before the big one. Everyone will come running out to see what it was, then kaboom. <laughs> Don't get into one of those moods on me. Look, I better finish up my work here. My handiwork will be in the papers again. Make sure you check out the morning editions. Okay then, bye. Imagine updating your weapons and then going over here and it's like there are new weapons you can buy. I love to shop. We can't waste too much time though. Welcome. We've got everything from dry goods to all the supplies you'll need for a long journey. Oh, a guild card, eh? It's that card you're holding with the crow and snake design on it. It's called a guild card. With it, stores everywhere will allow you to try to get a discount or a price raise. There are many kinds of guild cards. The one you have is a snake card. Discount, you go 10%. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna show you any of that because it's boring. Like, I wish they could, you could just do it all at once. Like, pick all the items you want to do and then do a judgment ring for that. Oh, wait, that's what you do in Covenant. But here you have to do it item by item by item. Are you ready? Well, then about time we get going, eh? This is an emergency broadcast from Feng Tian Radio. The army has issued the following report. Criminals suspected in the mass murder of army soldiers aboard the Changchun Feng Tian train today have disappeared into Feng Tian. The ringleader is a thin Caucasian female. All suspicious persons are to be reported to HQ immediately. Hey, that, that broadcast just now. Don't tell me, are you people? Honey, dear help. No, there's been a mistake. Damn it, what a bother. Let's go, Alice. Right, here goes nothing. I'm setting off the bomb now. What the? Ugh. Hey now, what's with the big boom all of a sudden? Whoa, lady, I can see you're... Good, you're alive. Thank God the bomb I designed to save people didn't end up killing them. Anyway, I hope you get a good look, sunny boy. Just think of it as my apology. No one acts like this. And how are you feeling, miss? I'm... I'm alright. Damn it all, what was that? Hey, look, a white woman, and there's a guy with her. They're taking the- they're the people from the radio. Call for reinforcements. Hurry, we gotta inform the captain. Two white women, why do you just say one? Why don't they think Margaret's the one? Uh, cowards, about what I'd expect from Kawashima's men. Their main talent seems to be running away. <laughs> so, they're after you too, are they? Us? We're not bomb toting terrorists, you hear? Jeez, lady, my ears are still ringing. Don't worry, that'll clear up. Now then, I've got to get out of here before they come back, but... What are you going to do? I can't babysit, but you can come with me if you want. Okay, I'm going on ahead. See ya! My god, what's her problem? We could have been killed! Yuri, did you hear that radio broadcast? 
Yeah, sounds like they blamed you for the attack on the train last night. Me? Don't worry, I'm your accomplice after all. Wait a sec, we can't stand around chatting. Let's move. Looks like we can get out through here, like that woman did. Hello, I am back. Hmm, tempting, but no. So I guess we can just... Okay. Then you freaked out for nothing. 